from Williams Pinball. T O D D fat. T O D D fat. Uh, you know what used to be here? Your lunch. One of the rarest games of them all. Your lunchbox. But Tony, what, has replaced it with one of the next most rarest games of them all. Look at this, Tony. New how many hours? Like dozens of hours. Mm -hmm. Days and days and days. Well, maybe not days and days and days. But, but enough time. And Tony has made this the nicest pharaoh on planet Earth. It is the what nicest I do. one. Only 2,500 were made. Actually, that's a big production one. What happened to them? I'll tell you what happened. The back glass peeled off. This is one of those back glasses from that run of Williams games where the paint just disappeared and then after that happened the vendors said ah, that looks awful just throw it out these games had no value nobody wanted them actually we have a video now to run to show you with tony working on this right now in the midst of the two levels you can see how nice it looks here let's let's show you that real quick here see what it looks like and now let's see what it would look like then well tony has pharaoh out but this is an interesting way to see the machine we sold this machine years ago, the customer. So this was the first time, of course, this play field's been removed. But the nice thing is, Williams had it set up so it could all be unplugged. No, it's not easy to take it off, but it's the only way to address the play field. This way Tony can get the whole play field addressed properly right here on the bench. He's got the parts lined up here. Plastic's all nice and neat lined up. Well, Tony. You took this whole field out. Tell us how you did that. How did the field come out of the machine? Uh, many different parts. You got the ramps that you have to take off both sides, here and here. Then you have screws underneath here that need to come off, and all the plugs underneath have to come apart. Then the whole thing lifts out, and you can work on it at the bench, and then come back to this part. Did you have any surprises? Uh, I don't think so. Pretty standard. It's well lit as it is. I didn't have to add any lights. It's got lights galore. So. Actually, it's well lit because of the super bright LEDs. These exactly. are the four level brightness LEDs on top and bottom of the play field. The Williams system supports the LEDs everywhere. And the plastics and jewels really shine through. Yeah, yeah. It looks like the plastics were almost all perfect too. I think we only yeah, had one basically. repair. Yeah, and we you've protected them of course. with your clear plastics. You put uh, new posts in. Mm -hmm. I see you also color coordinated the posts. We have orange up here and blue down there. Now I understand you changed all the parts in the in the uh, yeah they were all, all ruined everything, everything shot everything. Yep. Yeah, after all those years. Now we had sold this machine. Uh, what was the sticker on it? I don't remember. I have to look at the video again years and years ago and the nice thing is it sat in this dry basement game room all those years untouched and unloved boy he'd want it back then if he saw it huh probably i like the way you put the blues the dynamic blues and the reds throughout the field i like the way yeah and the only thing we didn't bring are sunglasses in this back here that's all you sir as well oh man look at this tony Tony has chosen um, the white, and then he has red here. I think it's a perfect color combination. Look how colorful the glass is. Yeah, you this can't does pick not one need color anything else. Yeah. In the middle, you had to go white. Go to like those red. images. The boards and back are nice and clean. The old original power supply has been rebuilt with all new capacitors. Frank, you did this, right? Probably. And then uh, resistors here. Now, we did an upgrade. When this game came back to us, it still had a single fuse right here, a 20 amp fuse that ran all the lights. But we started doing this, I guess maybe 10 years ago. What we do is we put a jumper there, 
and then you branch off right here with four fuses, one for each quadrant. So one runs the top part, second part, one for the bottom, and then one for the top area and one for the bottom. So four or five amp fuses now run them. So if you have a short on one line, uh, it won't take long for that fuse to blow. See, that 20 amp fuse took a while before it went. Of course, it, it ate out the whole back corner. Now listen, you don't even need this back corner. See, all the lighting goes in there because of that relay. And originally, the first scheme to have a relay was blackout, which you'll be seeing actually next week. But the Black Knight put a relay on the board, the power supply, this new power supply, so it could blink all the lights. And there's, I see that plug right there? There's two pin plug, that was the coil connection. So the computer connected there and blink, blinked that relay and flashed them. In this case, the relay is unused. Instead, Williams has chosen to put three relays in here. This one in the head that blinks all the lights in the head. And we have two more. Doesn't she ever look in the cameras? Anyway, he's got the wig. All right, there's one relay that blinks the top play field, and there's another relay that blinks the bottom play field. And you'll see how the, the game can then flash all three really sharp. Now those relays, we actually had to change, I think, two of them because they, after, over the years they start to stick in things. But we have so many parts machines, it doesn't matter. Now, this machine, of course, is a two-level, just like the Black Knight was, okay, and then followed by Jungle Lord. Uh, but this game has several unique features that the other games didn't have. This has a shot here, when you go in this, it goes into a hole, which then catapults it to the top. Uh, if you'll think about this, the Black Knight 2000 did that. It's sharp because it can hold the ball, give you points, and then catapult it up here. So there's a little time. So it's not like you shoot it up and it comes right down here. There's a delay, and it's a really important delay because you see these flippers are critical. They hit your two banks of targets, your, your tomb, your slave's tomb, your multi-ball hole, and the pharaoh's chamber to try to spell the word pharaoh. Of course, the ball launches it to these flippers here. So there's three ways to get upstairs. Through the coil assist here, and then these two silver ramps. Isn't that nice? This also was the second game, I think. You used the uh, first game was uh, Jungle Lord. You're leaving me, Tony. Is that, see, well, I ask him, please stay so you could do this Pharaoh video, because we are shipping this to a customer in Canada. Oh, you forgot the most important, I just well, thought of it. Forget. You also added the mirror. Oh yeah. Well, See the mirror sides? That would be most Steven over there. Yes, Steve our customer, that. every game he's been getting, we've been doing that for him. Uh, he, this is a, his third game, fourth game, fourth game. As a matter of fact, Bonsai Run is his fifth game. I told him he'll see Bonsai Run in the video. Mm -hmm. There it is. <sighs> no, we got it set up, we haven't gone any further. Um, so anyway, uh, I got it. Everything's color coordinated. There we are. Our green lights for the locks, okay, are also your mystery shots. But your magnets, that's what I was talking about. See, Frank, you should help me out here, baby. The magnets are nice because you can add them up. You get one, then you get two, then if both lights are on, you have three pulses, and then the next one is four, and then the four and the one light, then you have five pulses. See what I mean? It's really great the way they set it. See, it says one, two plus, four, four plus, really sharp. And the beauty of these magnets is that you can save your ball as it's draining and whip it right back into play field and use only one magnet. It's a really great skill you have to develop. I wonder if I have the skill. Frank's not saying anything. Oh, Frank went for the ultrasound today, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And? And it's a baby. <clears throat> everything on target. Yep. Six, eight pounds, six four weeks. ounces, uh, eight. Eight weeks, eight weeks. Eight weeks, Jonathan. May Where 13th. do you think you're going? I'm going to look for Kurt. Kurt! 
Check Duncan first. Uh, check the mother's house. I keep hearing this time clock and it bothers me. You're going to hear me click it in a minute, so let's go. Hmm. Well, Frank, I think it's time we show you the secrets of the mighty Pharaoh's tomb. When you start the game, there's no sound, no background sound. But look at this. Isn't that sharp? Beautiful bit of advertising. Sort of reminds me, remember KISS went K-I-S-S and Flash? Now, there's a switch that the ball is sitting on. This will activate all the sounds and they will continue for the rest of the game. So only in this very beginning moment are there no sounds. As soon as it fires up, we have the game sounds of the, of the shot and watch. I hit one target and now our background sound starts. And that will remain until the very end of the game. What a great track on this. Really, really nice track. Now, when it comes up here, it's lit the Ferris chamber. And look, I'll get 30,000 points if I get it in enough time. See? Did you see it started to run down? It's sort of like a stop and score. But of course, they had that, of course, in Black Knight. You had that mystery shot, but it gave you a set shot. This one runs out, so you have to be very careful. Now, I fired the ball up so fast you didn't get a chance to see these targets. These are all color coordinated. The blue, of course, yellow, and red. Now, uh, we got a real mess here, so I'm gonna start over, okay? Now, see them all blinking. Whatever target you hit first, okay? Now, they, they go out after a moment. They'll start to blink now. See now, our red is on, okay? Now, if I hit another target down, it screws everything up. But if I don't, I spot a letter in Pharaoh, resets everything, and it lights my locks. I can lock on either level. So once again, I get my red. I get my red, I get another letter in Pharaoh. Each of the Pharaoh letters are worth 5,000 points, which is really, really nice. But you, of course you get your big points you up here. And look, it's blinking and flashing. 75,000, but I only have a few moments. I get it. Oh gosh, I got the ball stuck, Frank. Shit. Okay, well, I was gonna spot my letter. When this is on, you will spot down here. Okay. See now, right now, if I go around, I just get I just get a few lousy points. Come on, Frank. Can I get that around once? There we go. Gosh, I go da 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 da. Now your slave's tomb will also activate the Pharaoh's chamber. Okay. It's activated again when he says that. And look, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Good. I got my points. Pretty neat, huh? Now, our magnets here, just like on the Black Knight and on the Jungle Lord, are activated. You add one every time you get a target down. So I'm up to two. Now, I have three, see? But these are gonna reset. Now, if I get them all down, the light stays on solid, okay? This is critical because this is gonna give me the extra points. Of course, adding up here. Now watch, as your ball comes down, see how I flipped it? It's heading out. Let's see if you go to you can go, behind, go the other way too. Of course, Frank. That never happens. Ah. You know, you take games, really good games. The Black Knight, of course, is a classic. But you take elements of the Black Knight. You take elegance elements of Jungle Lord it was another game similar but not as not as elaborate as this uh, Solar Fire and you put them all together into this pack and you have one terrific game. one terrific game. now obviously if you have a Pharaoh you have to have rebuilt flippers you will never go up the ramps but the assist shot's always kind of nice. And you lock that baby up and down. Nice. 
this crank out. Oh, I'm not going to be able to show the three bolts. Two bolts. Two bolts. Let's try that again, Frank. I didn't mean to have the game run out. Uh oh. Now who's leaving? Steven, not you. Get my kids every Tuesday at the same time. Nothing changed, huh, Steve? Nope. Should I keep that in my head? Anyway. Now you got me in a dither, Steven. I forgot what I was doing. Okay. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Get our ball locked up. Careful, son. You are I kill myself. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, Good night. Stephen. Good night. Stephen. Stephen, we're trying to show people all the wonders of Pharaoh. I don't think okay. he gives a shit. He has to care. Okay, now. There's a nice light show here where we lock one ball. You notice the other light is lit and waiting. Because there's only two balls in this. So once you roll into there, there we go. Now we get our two times value. Exciting, wonderful two ball multi ball. You know, there are more secrets here. I'm just, oh, I just, <laughs> you see, I threw the ball myself down the toilet. Oh, what a great game. Anyway, this baby is now ready to go up, but you know what? We did promise something. Yes, we did. Frank, what did we promise? Ah, for the first time, what our customer has asked that everyone at TNT sign his game, which is really neat. I thought that was neat. And do you know where we chose to sign it? All right, I'll tell you what. We signed the game earlier in the... So I'll tell you what, let's show you now where we signed it. The signing of the back. Oh, you know what? I should put the N in there. Uh, who's next? Gentlemen, please step up to sign the Mighty Pharaoh. This is our first signing of the entire machine. Stephen, you're next, young man. Let me just stop everything and do what you want me to do. You can't. Oh, it's 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 terrific. Terrific. But the customers are always right. Careful. You, you can draw a face it. on that foot. My toe. Look at that. Uh, Wallace? I need to get your honey over here, young man. Yeah. Should we have little Steve do it? No. There you go, kid. You know, He's here nobody asked it. I'm, I'm, I'm working. He's working. You think you're the only one working? This is little Steve. You know, his daddy used to work for me years ago. He started with me in 93. I guess he worked for me until like yeah, 99 or something. Wallace. Oh, Tony, are you next? Well, where is that Go on. fucking boy? Yeah, Wallace. Yeah. Wallace. Wallace charges $20 for this. That's the spot. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Finally, an empty spot. There's a lot of empty <laughs> spots. Todd's head? Todd's head. I was thinking of Wow. Oh, there's my Tony. Tony, you need to sign this. Now, I'll tell you what, Tony needs to sign dead center because he's the man that beautified it. Beautified it? Okay. Tony gets $20 Tony, a signature. Put right in the center. And you, you, actually, <laughs> Tony's signature needs to be the biggest. John Hancock? John Hancock. Uh, are you going to do Anthony <laughs> or Tony? Why don't we get a little can of Chrome Spray Paint? It's a beautiful handwriting. Wow. And Scotty, I'm going to take over while you film. There we go. Johnny is filming. I can't. I don't know how to read and write. Johnny? That's not surprising. Okay, short round. You are next, my man. You don't call him that. No, it's Chris. There we go. 
Walt, Walt, Walter, the silent oh, one. Sure. But Walt is gonna sign it. Beautiful. And finally, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Or as we should say, Jonathan! We got more coming, Wallace. Wallace, who else are we missing? I don't know. Frank? What do you mean? We're missing Frank? We're missing uh, Kirtling? Dying already, though. It better not be dying, young man. My signature. It's so white compared to everyone else's. Uh, well, we have two left. Who's next? I'll do it. Okay. Yes. Kurt's next. Kurt's next. There we go. And lastly, have fun. Have Franklin. Fun. Have fun. Yeah, we don't have anybody else because we want to get this out to you tomorrow. You paid for it. There we go. Our first machine out of how many? God. I don't know, we had probably almost 30,000 games, something like that, that we've all signed. And the Miss Pac-Man, Steven signed earlier, it was the first one to take. Look at that. There you go. Well, Frank, I think the mighty Pharaoh is ready to go to Canada. Good night. And the stone that sits on the very top of the mountain's mighty face does it think it's more important than the stones that form the base? So how can you see what your life is worth or where your value lies? You can never see through the eyes of man. You must look at your life. Look at your life through heaven's eyes.